what's going on guys? So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be going through some products that I have hit pan on. Um, I've never done this type of video before, like ever. Not on my other channel, not on this channel, like ever. So I'm really excited to do this. Um, I'm going to be going through in categories, which I'll put the timestamps down below. So in case you're interested in a specific type of product, um, you can find that there. I will let you know that majority of this video is going to be spent on eyeshadow. Um, I included certain eyeshadows within palettes that I've hit pan on just because I felt like they deserve the credit because there's certain um, shades that I really, really like from certain palettes. Um, so I thought that would be important to include. But there are a couple of other categories, like literally only a couple other ones that I have hit pan on, but I decided to include eyeshadow because otherwise this video would probably be like five minutes long. But yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first category we're going to be talking about is eyeshadow. So I'm not going to really be talking about these in any specific order, I'm just going to kind of go with what I got set up right here. Um, so the first palette we have is the Pur Pure, I'm not really sure if it's Pur Pure, um, Soiree Diaries. And the shade I've been using the most is the shade Gala, which is this shade KO right there. Um, I actually haven't used this palette in a really long time, um, but I really like that shade for like a crease color, that's why it's, uh, most of the co colors that you'll see of palettes that I've used um, are crease shades um, or highlighter shades, uh, but I really like that as a regular like, crease color. I do have a lot of colors like that in my collection, so that's why I haven't used this as much. Now overall, I think it's a very good like to-go palette because it has my hair, um, and it works to me <laughs> really, really well, um, but it's not the like, my main palette that I search for, but I do like the marble and has rose gold, so I excuse my nails well, um, but yeah, I really do like it. The next palette I'm going to be talking about is a little bit different. It is the Simply Meant to Be Nightmare Before Christmas eyeshadow palette. Um, and the shade I've been using the most is the shade Zero. Um, I've basically been using this as a highlighter shade. It's actually my favorite highlighting shade that I have. Not that it lasts super long, but I do like it because I have very pale skin, so a lot of highlighting shades that are highlighter shades in eyeshadow palettes are too dark for me. Um, and I do like a lighter brow bone shade. Um, but I do like using that one a lot. The other shades are fine. I would not get that palette if you want like really good quality. I can literally, my sister got it for me from Hot Topic. So it's not like, you know, you're not going to get like Too Faced quality, but I think it's a really fun palette to have just to like around like Halloween and stuff or even Christmas to just kind of like play around with it. But, um, Zero is one of my favorite shades from it because I feel like that shade is, is actually very pigmented and I really do like it. So the next palette I have is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Um, and the shade that I've been using the most is Georgia, which is this shade down at the bottom. Um, I love this palette so much. I was actually scared when I first got it that I wouldn't be using it as much as I have, um, but I really do love it. What I like to do with Georgia is I like to put that in my crease and really build it up. I feel like if you build it up enough, it'll it'll give you a really nice crease shade. And then I like to take uh, Summer Yum, and I like to put that in like in my crease, like not kind of an all over, like more like defined. Um, and I feel like that gives me a really good, like, peachy, like, summery, kind of, like, more pink vibe. Um, but I really, really like using Georgia, which is why I hit pan on it. I'm actually surprised I hit pan. I did not realize that I used it that much. Uh, but I feel like it goes along with, like, a lot of other really good, um, looks because it's such, like, a neutral, for, like, people with my skin tone, like, it's a very neutral, uh, shade to use. The next palette I'm going to be talking about is one of my absolute favorite palettes I own. It is the Dream Street Kathleen Lights and ColourPop eyeshadow palette. Um, and the shade that I have been hitting pan on is this one, which is Shooting Star. Um, again, it is a nice free shade. It looks just like one from the Sparring Diaries, except this one is a bit lighter, a little bit more of an orange undertone. I love this palette so much. I do wish I had a mirror, but it would be a little bit more expensive with the mirror, and that's why she didn't put it in. But overall, I really, really, really love this palette. I'm actually wearing um, this color, which is, yeah, Spark, um, in my uh, crease. And I just love this palette so, 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 so much. I use almost every single shade all the time. I love it. So I would really recommend getting it. And her other palettes are really good, too. Uh -huh. The next palette I'm talking about is the Morphe 35O palette. Um, and I have a pan on a couple of shades in here. So I have a pan on... I don't think they have the names, they don't really have names, so I'll just like kind of point them out. Um, this top one right here, which is, I use that as like a highlighting shade. I did, the reason I hit pan on it so much, like it's, it's basically gone. Um, the reason I hit pan on it was because I used it as um, a base shade. So after I put like my, I don't do this really anymore, but after I put on my eyeshadow primer, 
I would put this all over my lid to create a base and then I would put eyeshadow on top of that. Now I kind of just put eyeshadow right on top of the primer. I don't know if that helps, but I feel like that definitely makes my makeup last longer. Um, the next one is, or the next two, I guess. The next two are these two, um, which are, again, crease shades, a light brown. We've been over this. Use them, love them, love Morphe. Um, and then I also have this one, which is, I use this um, more in the fall. I used to use it a lot more than I do now. Um, but I would use that as like a inner crease or inner lid shade um, and I really like that too because it was a very nice like fall like dramatic look kind of thing so yeah. Um, the last two eyeshadow palettes I have are the Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So Modern Renaissance I have a pan on a decent amount of shadows. Um, I'll just quickly go through. There is Tempura, Golden Ochre, Bon Fresco, Antique Bronze, Love Letter, Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, Primavera, Red Ochre, and Venetian Red. Um, basically, when I first got this palette, this is all I used because I love it. That's all I'm going to say because I hit pan on a lot of them, so clearly I love this palette. Um, and then the Soft Glam palette, I hit pan on less, only one actually, which is Glistening, which is like that golden shade right here. Um, I love that shade so much because it's such a perfect like gold. I love putting gold on my inner lid because I feel like gold and bronze like really emphasize like blue eyes and so I really do like using that. But yeah, it's one of my favorite gold shades that I own. So next we're going to talk about eyebrow powders. So this first one I didn't include in the eye. It's an eyeshadow palette but I didn't include it because I only ever use this for my eyebrows. It is the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. Um, and so I would, oh, they have the names here. So I hit pan a little bit on this first shade, which I believe, that would make sense. Yes, it's buff. So this one's buff. This one that I basically have nothing of, I use the same way as I did on that Morphe palette where I would use it as a base shade and then put my eyeshadow on top of that. That is the shade Shell. Um, I basically don't use that anymore because it's pretty much gone. The shade that I've used the most though is this one, and that one, yeah, it's the shade Fawn. I would use that, I used to as my eyebrow powder for blonde eyebrows. I don't use that anymore because now it's a little bit too light for me actually, but, and I realize that I, it actually doesn't look that good on me, um, but I did used to use that a lot and I use eyeshadow pretty much only on my eyebrows just because it just makes life easier. The last one, there's only two in this category, is the Pro Fusion Day Face Eye and Makeup Case, Eye and Face Makeup Case. Um, and the one I hit pan on is their light shade, oh there goes the brush, is their light shade of the eyebrow powders. Um, they have a light and medium, but I hit pan on that one. That's the one I use for my eyebrows every single day. Um, I'm not saying I'm good at eyebrows because I really don't even have any eyebrows, so shaping them is a whole other thing. And eyebrows are really hard for me and I've always struggled with it, but I really do like using that because I feel like it works really, really well. And I feel like my eyebrows stay on fairly well. Throughout the day I feel like I could definitely increase their long lastingness, but overall I feel like it's pretty good. The next category we have is bronzers. So I only have one bronzer for this category, I told you. After eyeshadow, it kind of goes downhill. Um, this is the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. Basically, I have like nothing left. <laughs> um, I really do need to get a new one because this is like the only one I've owned and I've had it for way too long. Uh, but this is my favorite bronzer I own. It lasts really, really well on the skin. I feel like it blends super well and gives me like the perfect overall bronze look. It doesn't make me look too orange and it doesn't make me look like super contoured. It's just a nice like light bronzer and you can build it up. You can use it as like a lighter like shade over your face, but I really, really enjoy using it. The last category we have is highlighters. So there's only two highlighters in this, but it is, oh you can't really see that, it's, I'll do, I'm doing close ups, it's fine. Um, as the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighters in the shades Peach Lights, which is the peachier color obviously, and then Golden Lights. Um, these are my two favorite highlights, I especially love Golden Lights, the only thing with Golden Lights is that um, it's a little bit dark on my skin, so you can see it a little bit. Um, but overall, I love using those. I love using golden lights when I have more of like a bronzy, like darker look. And I love using peach lights when I have more of a like natural, or like a, when I use like my sweet peach palette and I have more of like a pinkier look. I love those highlights. I don't know how long they really last, but they're a really good price and I really, really enjoy using them. So yeah. Okay, so I feel like I talked super, super fast. I feel like we like sped through that video, but like we are at the end, everyone. Um, I know there's not a lot of products I've hit pan on, but again, it's really it's really hard to hit pan when you have a lot of makeup, so I feel like this was a decent amount. If you guys have any other videos you want me to do, whether they're makeup related or even just like regular videos that you want to see, like whether they're reaction 
or cooking videos, which I can't really cook, so that might be kind of fun because I would mess up, <laughs> um, or anything else like a what's in my closet or anything you guys want to see, please leave it in the comment down below. I would love to know what you want to see. But yeah, that's it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, as always, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye!